All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video, second of the day. So let me make one thing clear. This is not something I care about, right? I consider this a non-story. But as we know, gamers have a knack for making a story out of nothing. So I'm here to unfortunately uh, talk about it. So um, I have an imaginary file cabinet in my head, right? And this file cabinet is labeled non-stories and fake outrage, right? And in this file cabinet, we have other stories such as PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 will not work on PS5. Remember that at the beginning of this generation where people found out that the DualShock 4 won't work on the PS5 and people were like, oh my God, I'm, a, I'm outraged. This is, this is stupid. This is, this, this is a disaster. And then the PlayStation 5 came out and nobody fucking spoke a word about it and nobody cared. You know why? Because it, because it was a non-story and fake outrage. Remember when, what was it? The, the With the PlayStation 5 dock, you needed like a quarter to screw it on or screw it off or whatever the case was. And people were like, oh man, what a what an inconvenience. And it was like a talking point and a, and a whole topic for like a few days, even a week. And then... You never heard about it again. You know, I would even put $70 games in this file cabinet. And there's a whole bunch of other stories in this file cabinet that I've erased from my memory. Right. Because it, it, it's it's so, it's so much. Right. Y'all you, probably remember a lot more fake outrage. If you remember any fake outrage stories or non stories that people made a big deal out, deal out of, go ahead and put them in the comment section. Because there's been plenty this generation so far and we're only like two two years in. So I'm going to go ahead and put this story in that same file cabinet under non-story and fake outrage, okay? <laughs> because people are people are acting like gaming Karens. I want to speak to the manager. Okay? That's what how, that's how they're acting in regards to this story. Now, let's make one thing very clear. I'm going to switch screens. Let's make one thing very clear. PlayStation customer service is absolute garbage. They're terrible. It needs to be changed, it needs to be overhauled. Nobody den denies that. That's not the problem. And that's not what, well, that is, that is a problem, but that's not what this story is about. So let's go ahead and uh, read this. So, um, so PlayStation Stars, uh, which is coming to the West later in October, lets players earn rewards uh, by completing a variety of campaigns and activities. The program also has four tier level systems in which all players start at level one and can work their way up to level four by buying games and earning trophies. However, some users are upset. Let me scroll down a little bit so y'all can see it. Some users are upset that level four tier, which is unlocked by buying four games from the PlayStation Store and earning 128 rare trophies, reward players with improved customer service. According to Sony, the level four tier perk includes a, com a commemorative collectible and a promise that when c contacting PlayStation customer su support, you will be giving priority in the chat order. So based on what I've read, right? So this essentially appears to mean that level four PlayStation stars members can skip the queue when contacting customer support with an issue, right? So based on what I understand from this article, right, is you are getting that same trash ass customer support. You're just getting it faster. You're just getting it expedited. It's literally, this is what it is, right? It's ordering a piece of shit, a literal piece of shit, right? And you're, and it's coming in the mail. And instead of getting, you know, regular mail, you get that shit expedited. You get that shit overnight. You get that shit, you know, one day, one day shipping. That, that's to me, that's all this is. It, it's, it's overnight shipping on a literal piece of shit turd customer service. Now, some people may make the case that, you know, it's not fair that certain people get to, uh, you know, skip the line when it comes to customer service, regardless of it, if it's shit or not. Now, let me make it one thing clear. I, I think it's, I do think this is somewhat weird to have a an incentive and perk as, you know, as customer service, right? That I, I agree that's a weird perk and incentive, but it's not a big deal. And also, when it comes to other facets of life, there are other things in life where I literally am signed up for and I get priority 
because I'm signed up or paying for something. In this case, they're not asking you to pay for anything to get that priority. They're saying people who play more games and get more trophies uh, because, you know, you spend, you, you know, they want to take care of, uh, it seems that they want to take care of the people that matter most to them, which is the people that play the most games. That's the, that's the logic I would assume in this matter. And I don't, necess I don't necessarily think it's, I think it's weird to have it as an incentive and a perk for customer service, but in other ways, if you applied this to something else, it wouldn't necessarily be weird, right? For example, um, and when me and my wife go on vacation, we're, we're in this like vacation package where we get priority on when we go to like resorts on, and stuff, we get certain priority over people who are not in this program when it comes to rooms, um, excursions, activities, yada, yada, yada. Excuse me if you hear any background noise, right? So we get priority on that, on that stuff and discounts and all that good stuff. So it happens in other facets of life. Same thing when you sign up for like, maybe say you sign up for a credit card um, in, uh, in, in like an airline or travel, right? Because you spend more, they may give you better seating, you know, priority on, uh, on first class or whatever. Literally, like I have AMC, whatever the hell it's called. I'm signed up for that AMC priority thing where when I go to AMC, right? For example, if I'm going to buy food at the movies, there's a line for regular ass people and then there's a line for me. And I can literally get on this priority line and skip all you mofos. So this is not some type of foreign concept. It's a loyalty program and loyalty programs are in all parts of life. So even with the fact, the, the, so the issue here, my point is, is not this loyalty program is not that people get to skip the line. The real issue here is PlayStation customer service is ass. Is pl if PlayStation customer service was gold star and amazing and everybody raved about it, and then people heard about, oh, this uh, this this loyalty program, this stars program lets you skip the line, this would not be an issue and nobody would be talking about it. So the point is, y'all are shooting at the wrong target. You. The issue, th this is not the issue. This is the fake outrage. The issue is simply PlayStation's customer service is ass, which call that out. No problem, call that out because it's actually bad, right? But don't call this out. This is actually somewhat normal, right? They've applied it kind of to the wrong perk or incentive, but the, the, the principle of it, the practice of it is not odd or strange. This is done in all types of businesses where they want to treat their most um their most active customers the best give them you know the, the best the best service so this doesn't to me this doesn't according to what i read this doesn't seem to be a different line even right doesn't seem to be oh they're we're putting you with uh on a different line no it seems to be we're putting you in the same line but in front and the same customer service that you would get if you were 50th, you're going to get once you skip the line anyway, uh, unless they suddenly start to, um, unless, like I said, I don't know, because it doesn't say here, unless they're giving you certain privileges and certain rights that they wouldn't give some, somebody else when you get to the front of the line, maybe then, then I could understand that. But like I said, that doesn't seem to be the case, or at least they haven't seen this here. And, and it seems to be because this hasn't rolled out everywhere yet, right? So it said uh, players in Japan have been complaining and players in Japan might have a more like specific issue that affects them more with this. But once again, this is a non-issue for most people. How often do you really contact PlayStation customer service? I, I buy a lot of games on PlayStation. I contact them maybe once a year. So people acting like this is something that's gonna affect them daily, weekly, monthly, often. Come on, bro. Really? Y'all need to choose y'all battles. When this, because the problem with this is it dumbs down and it waters down when there's an actual problem. When you complain about every fucking thing, then all the things that actually are valid and are worthwhile complaining about don't really seem to be 
don't really stand out and don't get the attention that they should. It's like you're crying wolf on everything. You can't complain about everything, bro. Then everything is going to seem equal. This is a non-issue, like I said. I just, I just don't see, I just don't really see the problem. Like I said, it's a little bit odd. And the problem is the, that the customer service sucks. But this is a non-issue, bro. Like, y'all really got to start being more selective about what y'all complain about and stop being video game Karens and demanding to speak to the manager about every little thing. Non-issue, nobody's gonna be talking about this in T minus two days, okay? And this is not really going to affect anybody like that. Because like I said, how often are, are, is the average person calling and or getting online to talk to customer service? So, yeah, um, y'all really got to start complaining about shit that affect y'all. And uh, I'm standing up for the, the hypothetical imaginary person. I'm looking out for the little guy. No, 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 no. You're not looking out for the little guy. You're just choosing to find something to complain about for whatever reason. Oh, wh what about the children this holiday season? What about their, what about their parents? They'll, they'll, fuck, first of all, fuck them kids. Second of all, You'll figure it out, okay? It, listen, it, and this may affect me. If I'm not number, you know, level tier, level tier, uh, in the in the fourth tier, right? And I need to speak to customer service, and I'm fiftieth, and somebody skips the line. Well, I'm just gonna have to fucking deal with it, bro. I'm not gonna complain. Like, well, that's the way shit happens, bro. That's the way it falls. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm not gonna complain. It's not that serious. So. Yeah, go ahead and file this under non-story and uh, fake outrage, sure. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.